Good afternoon. Our opening hymn will be number 675 in the Green Journey Song book, For You Are My God, number 675. Please join us in singing and please rise. Hello, it's good to be back after several days of being sick. Um, for the third time I tested positive to COVID, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be around us. You still can hear it in my voice, but yesterday I tested negative already. Today I tested negative again. Father Joel is in his room isolated. He's fine, he just has minor symptoms. Um, interesting enough, uh, Brother Santos has never had COVID. So, you too? <laughs> it's a grace, it's truly really a grace. Just in case, I will not be close to you, not hugging, just to be safe, right? But today is supposed to be the, the 12th day already. So, I'm not supposed to be contagious anymore. With this good news, let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. In a moment of silence, let us recognize that we are sinners, and let us ask God for pardon and peace. And together we pray, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have felt to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through human labor never ceased to perfect, perfect and govern the best work of creation, Listen to the supplications of your people and grant that all men and women may find work that benefits their dignity, joins them more closely to one another, and enables them to serve their neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of jo Joachim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the house of the Lord and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah who have come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them and omit nothing Perhaps they will listen and turn back, each from his evil way, so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict upon them for their evil deeds. Say to them, thus says the Lord, if you disobey me, 
not living according to the law I place before you, and not listening to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey them. I will treat these house like Shiloh, and make this the city to which all the nations of the earth shall refer when cursing another. Now the priests, the prophets, and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. When Jeremiah finished speaking, all that the Lord bade him speak to all the people, the priests and prophets laid hold of him, crying, you must be put to death. Why do you blaspheme, blaspheme in the name of the Lord? This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate and deserted. And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Response, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Those outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength are they who wrongfully are my enemies. My iris, must I restore what I did not steal? Lord, in your great love, answer me. Since for your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face, I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me and the insults of those who blaspheme me, you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did these men get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. When someone asks me, um, how do you know that someone is becoming holier or is, is more holy, right? To me, I said, well, one of the signs, something that smells of holiness, even though I don't have a, a lot of smell right now, but something that smells of holiness is simplicity. When someone is simple in the way they approach life, they approach the events of life. To me, that speaks of someone who is holy already or is in the process of holiness. Because God being the greatest being, right? God made himself so simple as to born as a baby, as a son of a simple woman in a manger. That simplicity that speaks of God. 
when someone is too complicated, I still, I, I feel like, well, we, we still have to work a lot, <laughs> right? When someone is able to see life and see it in simple terms, have you ever approached someone like that, right? Or have you ever approached the contrary? Someone who, from something so little, makes something so big and explodes, right? And it's like, hmm. Today, they couldn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah because he was too simple. The son of Mary, the son of the carpenter, that's too simple to be a Messiah. <laughs> Think about it. In times in which everyone wants to be number one, be one in social media, and people of simple life continues to give, a, to, give, to give a huge witness to the gospel. Someone who trusts in God and says, it's okay, we, under, we are under God's rule, in God's hands. Simplicity of a heart that trusts in God. It is truly a challenge, right? In our lives, in the events that we have, to see it in simple terms, to not make it more complicated. May the Holy Spirit give us that grace to be simple, to be simple. Now, being simple doesn't mean you being or working your, your, your less. What I mean by that is, because I have seen people that is, oh, I, just, <laughs> I, I heard this before, right? What will you make your bed if you will go to sleep tonight and you will destroy it again, right? Oh, come on, right? That's not simplicity. That's not having the effort, not making the effort. If you notice, Jesus is simple, but at the same time, he is doing his mission in this life. And that's why people is offended. Because this is someone that lives his life in simplicity, yet he lives his life in his fullness. Right? He lives his life in his fullness. May the Holy Spirit give us that grace of being simple, but living our life in his fullness. Amen. And so please then, with humble hearts, we come before the Lord and offer him our petitions. For all, for all of us in God's holy church, may the Lord continue to bring us to a deeper love and understanding of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the salvation of the world, may the Lord guide all leaders of nations in promoting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who in poverty, may the abundant love and grace of Christ Bring them resources and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For anyone among us who struggles in the face of doubt or fear, may the Lord help us to know his face and feel his strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died in the light of faith, may they experience God's mercy and live with him forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the special petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear and for today's Mass intentions, for the repose of the soul of Irene Ronhel, may she rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for Paula Harlow, let us pray to the Lord. This weekend, we also have the young adults having their retreat. So let us pray for them, that may the Holy Spirit be with them. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we know that you hear us. Please answer these prayers in the way you deem best before us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> God, who in the offerings presented here nourished the human race with food and renew it with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not, may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Gustavo our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. For Irene and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of our church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn may be found in the Blue Gather book, number 930, Taste and See, number 930. Please join us in singing.
answered me. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this table of unity and charity, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that through the work you have given us to do, we may sustain our life on earth and trustingly build up your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Father Joel and myself, thank you so much for all your text messages the many soups we have received, the medicines we receive. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for taking care of us. Uh, it's hard for us to avoid getting sick. We are surrounded by people, and it's part of our ministry, right? It's part of our ministry. So continue to pray for Father Joel um, as he goes through this time of resting. Um, this weekend, most likely, I'm going to be the one celebrating the masses. He's going to be isolated. That's what he did last week. <laughs> I was in my room, and he celebrated all the masses. I told him, uh, this is your plan. I get sick, and then you get sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of community life. Continue to pray for us, please. Uh, today, we have the Rosary for Peace after this Mass. Tomorrow, we have uh, first Saturday Mass uh, at 9 a.m. So if you can come, we will be celebrating that Mass as well. After this, I'm going with the young adults to the retreat, so continue to pray for them. I'm going to celebrate Mass for them and listen to their confessions. A lot of work. <laughs> Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good day and be safe. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and our snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan. Please join us in singing out of your green hymnals, number 733-733, Lead Me, Lord. <laughs> 